All right. Welcome back, everybody. You are here for round two of Operation Bleeding Shield, and we are Squad Ops. We are a community that runs One Life Operations in the game squad. What? And you're watching one of our brand new operations, Operation Bleeding Shield. Never been run before, what? and we are running it here today. Abandoned Crazy me. stuff going on. Good, exciting things. I'm excited to see how this all uh, how this all comes together. It looks like Russia is starting to get themselves in. Forgot to reintroduce myself. My name's CMYK Matter, and here with me is Google Trex. How's it going, Google? Ready for this? I'm ready for round two. Want to see what they do? I'm pretty excited. You know, the first round went pretty well. The Russians ended up holding with just like two guys basically left. That's that's all there was. But uh, pretty interesting stuff. I liked it anyway. Uh, I wanted to do a little command briefs. So you can see Xbit there on your screen. He's command for one of the teams. Shattered Ritual is command for the other team. Google, give us a rundown of those commands and uh, squads again. He yeah, did yeah. it so well. Uh, all right. On Shadow's side, he has Satan, Sightless, Best Pony, and Silas. Sightless and Silas, once again, separate people. Uh, Mighty, Krusty the Sailor, the Muff Bandit, and Merrick are all squad leading for x tonight. All right. All right. Let's do a command brief. It's good stuff. Good stuff. We'll have to see how they choose to operate here. It looks like they have chosen a different location. If you remember right, last, so, um, oh, excuse me. If you remember last time, they uh, what I like to had do chose that split one squad with two lower Neva kind of area. It's not the southernmost, but it's the uh, the middle one. Only, they had chosen that area. To fire Looks like this one. The they are going game. to take this way northern fob location. And Pretty interesting. I'm There's a couple of uh, one's full vehicles, the or not vehicles. There's a couple of buildings around and here. Some outbuildings, a big farm area. Hangers. This is a pretty interesting area. I, I gotta say, I'm interested to see how it goes. As a QRF. So who wants to be QRF? So it looks like Command and the squad leads are starting to get their their plan together, while everybody else is just kind of cruising around. I'm so confused. Download the video that I put in off topic. Man, look at all these guys just cruising through this area. Looks like an air 404 on your yeah. Server Air 404 just cruising through on your screen, jumping through some of the areas. Oh man. This is pre op. Pre, pre live uh, operations can be a little bit. can be really amusing sometimes. There's always something going on. Muff was actually talking about uh, billboards to advertise the operations in the, out, in the map. <laughs> Listen to info on that for a little bit. Oh, guys, oh my god, dynamic. Is there a shot at all? Let's get these guys are ridiculous. I love listening to the, the pre op briefs from time to time. There's some, uh, there's always some interesting conversations. We have, we have people that play Simon Says. We have people, you know, doing human snakes for a while and saying, don't step on snake. <laughs> There's so many interesting things that go on in pre op. I love it. Yeah, one so, of the ops. Uh, go ahead. No, no, go. Go, go, go. Uh, just another pre op shenanigan. Well, a while back, we had somebody that did did a, a rap about all his squad mates. Put their names in it and talked about them. <laughs> For 21 bucks. It was pretty great. What was the ground beef? Was it like Lav Tech, how's it going for you, man? Good to see you tonight. It was it was happy you're out here. They ran out of fresh. We did get the call that militia is apparently ready, so uh, it'll chicken be breast. just like Russia. Now Russia has a bit of a harder job. They have to convoy they just to their location breath, before they, they can were do big. their briefing and everything. Three pounds like so two once they do get their briefing going, we will listen in on that. Much, and let you, you guys touch hear. a lot of meat. Do you ever really notice oh, the difference? It looks like they're calling them in. Expert says doing brief now, so looks like they might be calling them in. But I don't deal with a lot of organic. It's not a popular item, and it's expensive, so it comes in frozen. Yep, looks like they're calling them in, so here in a few, we'll get to listen to Xbit give his plan on what's going to happen. I'm excited to see how this is going to be different. You know, I assaulted this uh, this compound location in the command round earlier today, or the round that I commanded earlier today, and uh, it's a toughie. This is a tough location to assault. There's a lot of trees and forests off to the southwest. It's real difficult to kind of Let's get go. through these trees and stuff when they're filled with people. It's also pretty close to a bridge, so, you know, 
Interesting location to assault. See all the ants cruising in here, getting close. Going to listen to their... Uh, Listen to their command brief from their faithful commander, Xbit. Jumps on. Jumps on. We're down here. Nice. We're down here. Down here. That's the way to do it. Buy it on sale. Right. still good meat. Oh. All right, everybody. Yeah, man. Oh, your second brief. Please, Please stop kicking off. Please stop kicking off. Come Please stop. Let's do this. Uh, militia's ready, so let's be ready for them. Here it goes. Squad 4 is going to take two times Lodgy. They're going to go to the North Bridge. They're going to sit on the west side of it. As soon as we go live, they're going to release the Lodgies and go refill them. Squad 1, Krusty Squad, they're taking the MTLB. They're going to move to Bunker. They're just going to sit there. They're going to be a QRF in case they do rush vehicles across the two middle bridges. Mighty Squad, Squad 2, is going to take a trans truck. They're also going down to that area. They're going to put a fire team to the west of the southern bridge, a fire team to the west of the middle bridge, and they're going to basically shoot bullets across the river if they do approach, and then they're going to bound out of there. Squad 3 is going to be sitting on the headquarters here and building stuff up so that when you guys get back from your little missions, it's all warm and cozy here for you. Once we take the initial contact, uh, there's going to be a lot of movement going on, so just listen to your squad leads and fire team leads. When we do come around to make the uh, the def defensive network around the headquarters fob here, we're going to be uh, holding shipping yard, the apartment buildings to the west, the force to the south, and the force to the north. Uh, squad 4 here will be watching everything to the east, so in case they cross over the river. So 4 will be the north, 3 will be to the west, and squad 1 will be to the south. That's basically it. Make first contact and then bound back. Then squad three Wait, will expert, react. Expert. If yes, can you repeat that one more time? I'm sorry. I'm just the, the where everyone's gonna be. So the squad, the squad right? Okay. Yeah, just uh, squad four up, but we're watching the north flank. Squad two will be watching the south flank. Squad three will be watching the west flank. Squad four will be watching the east flank. That's you. when you guys bound back to headquarters. So, one, top, two, bottom, three, left, four, right. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, shouldn't be any questions. If there is, ask your squad leaders. Let's get set. Let's move to your positions. Squad four can take off. Squad three can take off. Squad uh, one can take off. Get set in your bridges. All right, you got to listen in to Xbit there. He's designing kind of a pretty simple plan. Uh, two squads are going to push out to various bridges, kind of hold them, and then he has fallback locations for his guys once they're actually assaulted. So it's going to be pretty simple defensive uh, thing for him. And while we have a little bit of time while they get into position, I'm going to show you guys what this operation is all about. Operation Bleeding Shield is a face-off between Militia and Russia. So, the Russians, they get two AR, one GL, one LAT, one Medic per squad. They also get one MTLB, one transport truck, two logistics trucks, three FOBs, two HMGs, and one mortar that they can build. So they can put those wherever they want on those different bridges. Militia is going to get two ARs, one LAT, one Scout, one Medic per squad. Also, one BDRM, or BRDM, I apologize. Hey, all technicals and two transports. So the general purpose of this is that there are some locations where the Russians can pick to put their HQ fob. There are also three bridges that they need to protect the best that they can. Infantry is able to cross the rivers as much as they want, so Russia just kind of needs to defend that HQ location while militia assaults the bridges and then the HQ location. So, pretty simple operation. There's just two places, or three places, that they can choose from in order to put their HQ fob location. Three bridges to defend. Any way you see fit to delegate your different people to those is how you choose. So, there you go. Pretty simple stuff for this operation. I like it. Bleeding shield. Yeah. 
you can see that MTLB here rattling away. That thing is loud, but man, it can carry 19 people. Slow as all get out, but has some good offensive uh, forces to it. But the biggest thing about it is that it can just hold 19 people. Easy to transport a lot of people around and a very good little vehicle. I like the MTLB. I think it's fun. I like the MTLB. It's so loud and clacky. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like keyboards. It's like keyboards that I like, you know. I, I like the blue switches, loud and clacky oh, for, for my typing here. and stuff. I got reds at home, but, you know, blue switches that work for all the clacky typing. <laughs> if you know your coworkers enough, they'll send you home early. You get a <laughs> free vacation. <laughs> That's what you got to do, man. Have to Does Dermo even have a, with... a vocabulary? Does he just laugh? <laughs> he doesn't have an no, SMA laughs. driving you, that you transport learn, truck. Looks like they're set up. The militia is just going to be starting down at their main in the south, and uh, they can kind of push out whichever direction they want. The vehicles do have to use bridges to cross the rivers, but infantry does not, so infantry can feel free to, to do their thing. It's just my feeling. It's just my feeling, but... Uh... Oh! 19 total, so that's 19... Uh, 17 plus driver plus gunner, so 19 total. There you go, Lav. Just saw your question, buddy. Heavy Metal following the channel. Thanks for checking us out. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for playing along with Squad Ops. There we go. Now we can use that as cover. Good stuff. Merrick, live on your screen, getting ready to drop the fob. All right. Fob location is up. The Muff Bandit hoofing it by himself over here. We're not live yet, but it looks like he might have got left behind. Here, two to me. Two to no, me. No, poor Muff. <laughs> two to me, two to me, two to me. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he's out there to scout. Looks like he's the lat kit this game. Trying to take out some of those vehicles. Follow Muff around for a little bit, see what he's doing. He's just trekking across there. Max, if you guys don't know Muff Bandit, it's one of our other commentators here. Does a great job. It's too hard, you don't Him, see Mighty, Tedish. Oh man, we've had so many commentators. They all do so well. But you don't jump, you dump Belazi with Q, right? Yeah. Not just us for the commentators. Um, uh, Q is not getting dumb. Preet Paul. I don't know. Wow, I can't even pronounce your name. Ten bucks on Russia to win. All right, you think Russia's gonna win? We'll see what happens. No. We'll see, uh, we'll see what they do. Take a look in the back. If there's nothing there, then you dumped it. I mean, already. who was it last time? The Does Russians won last round as well, I'm didn't they? Problem. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm an idiot. Nope, I'm, I'm an idiot. Gonna move back to the base here. See what they're doing, getting ready. Yeah, X bit. Divvying out all his commands. Remotely controlling the battlefield. God, I love I know as, as command, I spend most of the time with my binocs out and my map open. Yep. Just, <laughs> that is Every just the nature of the time. role. And even as an SL, you spend a lot of time with your wrap oh, open. Just funny. watching other... Yeah, go ahead and use the other logic for your fob up. x on your screen now. Yep, binocs and... Binos out. He's just ready. <laughs> I love it. So you guys can see here in this building, this is the general objective that they're going to be going for. This is the... One more sec, we're getting stuck. So this is the FOB. Uh, so if you don't know what FOB is, it is an FOB, Forward Operating Base. It allows you to build all kinds of deployables, including HMGs, uh, mortars, emplacements like sandbags, HESCO walls, things of that nature. Pretty much any of the things that you want to build, you need to drop a fob first. And this is one of the general objectives that they're going to be fighting for. We'll be right there in that building. And they're going, as you can see now, this area, not much around it, but uh, once they get going, they will have all kinds of fun building all kinds of things, playing Minecraft. What you got up there, Google? Anything going on yet? I'm still at the base with x oh, okay, just overhead cool. looking at it. 
got some sort of a, a Wait, what? urban slide. He bet you it's crispy on your screen. Oh, Back of the transport truck. Looks like they're about ready. So hopefully. Oh, oh we just saw it live at 134. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Everybody get ready. Grab your popcorn and your soda. Yeah, you got two minutes. Go to the bathroom. Get yourself a drink. Just grab the popcorn. Later. I'm gonna go check out this northern let's bridge location before we get live and see who they have. Hey, uh, yeah, let's spot see off. what they got. Does anybody have a it's like Muff Bandit spot? Squad. Should I go to the north side? Defending the bridge here, they got the their fob radio is up on this hill. It's uh, high on the far north of the bridge. We've seen lots of great stuff happen from here. This is a great spot to put down a gun or put a vehicle and and just cover that bridge. Oh, just seeing here in the chat, Footless, Footless Mage, just finished his basic training today. Congratulations, oh, man. SATT basic, good course. It's good stuff. Glad you completed it. Look forward to seeing you in ops here soon, man. Yeah, I'm going to take a chance with this tree over here. It's a deadly tree. It's dirty. And for anybody looking to learn a bit more about us, you can go to the newly relaunched Squad Ops website, squadops.gg. Get all the information about us, what we're all about. Find out all of our social media channels, all that good stuff. That's so funny. You're gonna go supply the spot. This place is too much fun. I also man. want. You I have too much fun with squad ops. West, that big I don't know about you, Google, right? but uh, it's oh, definitely yeah. one of the more fun groups I've been in. <laughs> yep. uh, definitely for me. I didn't think that I would ever be so involved in a community like this, but I've just had so much fun here. The game it, itself is great. The people are great. The ops, the ops mm -hmm. are just amazing. That's it sucks you it in, me. doesn't it? It yeah. sucks you in. I know I started here. I was like, oh, I'll check out the ops, yeah. see what it is. And then, like, I got latched onto and pulled in, and they were like, hey, so you want to wait? You want to try some things? And I was like, I'm revving, yeah, I'm yeah, revving this bad boy. Yeah. Look at the we'll fan go. I want to contribute, we're right? Oh, we're live. But, uh, yeah, we're to going to solve 23 miles per hour. <laughs> my computer decided to send it twice. There we go. We're live. We're really, really live. We, we are live nine times. We are super live. <laughs> love it. Oh, man. I, I love how live we are. It's good to know. It's good to know that we're live. You know? It looks like those, uh, those lodgies dump their, dump their supplies and they are set and heading back. They're going to try and make the run all the way back to Russia, Maine. All right, I'm going to cruise down here and check out what Militia's up to while you're following them. Yeah, Sonny and Dentrick. Let's see if they can do it. I'm going to let them take that drive by themselves. We're going to go back to see what everybody else is up to. Yeah, I'm going to see if these uh, these Militia guys... So you can see on the map here that I have up these red vehicles down here. That's all the Militia guys pushing out of Maine. They get all these vehicles. There we go. There we go. There we go. They have an SMA on your screen driving. Guys, we're hitting 70 miles per hour. See, all these vehicles, the technicals, the Urals. Oh, man, the, the RDM pushing out. So many different vehicles here. I like this op just for the variety of vehicles. You know, you see a technical, you're not sure. Is it the transport techie? Is it the disco techie? Is it the SPG techie? Is it the rocket artillery techie? You know? <laughs> yeah, and they all sound the same, so you can't even hear the difference either. I'm right. just shooting at you. <laughs> was that a rocket that just came in? All right, I guess that was the SPG, you know? Man, look at these guys. They are cruising. They are hauling ass. Maybe once they uh, slow down here, you can check them out in a little more detail. But for now, they are hauling ass. Look at this. Are they... Are they going straight for the Lodgy? They are. Oh, look at that. They're going to intercept. So, Mighty, if you need me, just start there's, a, there's a technical that has pushed off way close to the the location over here. See if it's going to hit that Lodgy. Squad force, come in. The rocket already... The the rocket truck is taking shots with the rocket artillery at the Lodgy. <laughs> and Dentrick decided to nope all the way up into the hills here. <laughs> Instantly. He says, uh-uh, uh-uh.
wish we could Denture. show you some of the uh, the outlines a little better, but they don't show up on vehicles, sadly. Yeah, you just see the little square. Yeah, Denture yep. pushing up into the hills here. I wonder if they even know he's here. They've got three vehicles chasing him back to Russia, Maine. Oh militia man! Deciding to... The entirety of Russia or the entirety of the militia force has pushed out here. I think they have. Shadowed Ritual is in that forward one with uh, Best Pony and. I'm gonna just hide in this forward. The Ellen. Oh, yep. they're going to intercept Dentrick. They are. He's right over to the east. They can hear him, but Dentrick just running for his life. Look at him. He's just running. He's like, I, I, I am one with the tree, and the tree is with me. <laughs> He's going for that road. All right, the militia. They fail in intercepting the Lodgy, it looks like. Yeah, he is on the first it. time. Dentrick on a fast track on the road here, making it back to Russia, Maine. Oh, but Tommy and Sonny coming back with the Lodgy now. It's going to run into one of the militia vehicles right here. Oh, they're taking the, shots. The discotheque. It hits him. Oh, oh he was... kill. Oh, no. Tommy and Sonny go down to Thurman Merman on the oh. gun. Revy Rose. Revy Beast, actually. Pushing in and taking them out with that disc of technical raining in fire. So good. Yeah, and Dentrick here made it back to the main. He's out of his vehicle. I wonder if he doesn't realize they can't shoot him here. I don't know. Oh, it's a shame we can't hear his squad comms when we get close to him. <laughs> I just want to know what he's saying. We just got ambushed. We just got ambushed. <laughs> My buddy's down. Yeah, he's. it looks like he's scanning as if they could come after him, but I think they may be satisfied just taking out that they one. They got looks one like of them. And, yeah, they got one, and they know that they scared him real bad, so they are, they are running away. Or not really running away. They, they did their job, but you can see a bunch of them here <laughs> moving through the trees on my screen. Yeah. Hey, I keep hitting my oh, oh, man. Yeah. My face. I don't want that to technical. Can I roll oh, there's so good. It looks like that counted as maybe counted as first down. contact. So I don't think so. It was rivers? it was per squad. It shouldn't be. Oh, it's a per squad contact. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Xbit knows what's going on. He told him the whole thing. Yeah, he told him. All right, I'm yeah, just, I'm curious if Dentrick's gonna brave that rush. He looks really scared. He's shaking in his boots back in Maine. I uh, I talked to Sightless earlier. Actually, he's he's the guy who designed this operation. And we might get to talk to him actually after the op, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but either way, we talked to him earlier, and he said it was a per squad contact. So once these squads come into contact, each squad can then push off to the east of the bridge. But until they do that, they cannot push off to the east of the bridge. Okay, so they lost one lodgy though the russians have lost one yeah, lodgy a tree yet, militia so. are now wolf packing up here bringing all Damn of the vehicles driving, up to the north you can see them all cruising past me right now and if they decide to cross that northern approach they will coincidentally be put right here next to next to their chosen like base location right up here in the north move across these vehicles here doesn't look like they've done a whole lot of building. I bet they they may have given those those uh yeah we don't have any sandbags down basically. I wonder if they gave those lodgy supplies to uh, the northern. Let's go take a look. I bet they did. They gave their lodgy supplies to this northern fence. Up in the same spot. You know they left. Uh, well, yeah, the same they did leave they one like technical. Spot. Yeah, yes, it, oh no, it's pulling north now. They had yeah. left one technical to the south to try to take care of that lodgy, but it's now pulling back up. And this here, Muff Bandit Squad, probably the first to to take contact against that against that militia force, probably. Yeah, this is the whole of the militia force. Actually, militia now, they have dismounted two squads Maybe from the Ural. You can see them here. Oh man, that was weird. Huh. The Muff Bandit's got his head stuck in a tree here. I wonder oh. if he can actually see. I don't know. I, I Maybe. wonder if he just doesn't realize he's in a tree and he can actually see. 
maybe he's not at his keyboard. Maybe he's on the map. Who knows what's going on with Muff Bandit right now, but he's got his squad <laughs> here lined out in front of the river watching that bridge. And Muff is lost. a very contemplative guy. He's probably just, uh, you know, thinking about the woods and, you know, what they mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> Examining the type of tree. Mm -hmm. So you can see on my screen here the uh, militia pushing off a large force on the northern or northeastern side of this map. It looks like they're going to try to assault the northern bridge, but they want to get some guys on foot. They don't want to just try to shove the vehicles across there, and that's probably a smart idea considering Muff Bandit Squad is up there watching that northern bridge. Dijon, this should have more viewers, man. You know, we're just happy for the viewers we get. I gotta say, uh, just stick with you know, me we started this anyway. up and, you know, it was pretty small and we're doing a lot better now, but, man, I'm just happy for everybody that comes out here and watches the stream. Wouldn't do it if it wasn't for you guys that come here and watch it, so it's all on you guys. You uh, you come out here, you check it out. We appreciate it, gotta say. Oh, it looks like, hmm, Muff Bandit isn't even the squad leader. I oh, if he has something going on. He must have had something, yeah. And I think those guys that were in the uh, the two lodges were from his squad, so he's down three guys just right out the gate because Dentrix trapped that pair and the other two are dead. Well, you know, that happens, though. I can definitely say sometimes you... Uh, you know, life comes up. And that's one thing that we should talk about for squad ops. You guys don't need to worry about, you know, some of the the crazy over-the-top requirements that you would have in some other groups. Squad ops is a very casual group. We understand that life sometimes gets in the way of things. And sometimes you just got to, you know, handle your kids for a little bit and everything. We are fully understanding of that. We are pretty casual and an enjoyable community for process, people who uh, have all kinds taken of schedules. First I think that we do a pretty good job catering oh, yeah. to pretty much any Not schedule. Yeah, yeah I can speak to that as a, as a father <laughs> of two kids. I have kids come up all the time, and I've never had something <laughs> happen where they're like, yeah, you can't be here anymore. It's yeah. just, yeah. So, really great group. You know, I'm glad to hear that. It's it's always all nice right. to, to know that... We kind of are understanding of the things, you know, I have uh, family members that I got to tend to at a time. Everybody has their their real life. So it's good stuff. I'm happy to see that people can share those experiences, no matter what kind of life they have going on around them. You know, oh, yeah, sightless here, maybe, maybe getting some eyes on soon. He's got eyes on that North Bridge and Binox out. What do we say? Binox in a map. That's your job as a leader. Uh, Dijon asking, blue is militia. No, blue is Russia on this one. Red is militia. So there you go. We have been doing a thing where we're keeping both casters on the same team. And fucking. because of that, it allows us to kind of uh, keep the colors straight. Make so sure you, uh, don't yeah, blue, blue is going to be guys. Russia. Don't, don't come yep, to blue me. is going to be Russia. The, Red yeah, is going right to be side. militia. Both rounds. Okay. So that's how we keep it going. Evan SMA pushing up with his team. They're, they're getting into position to check out that northern bridge. You can see him there trying to maneuver in. Last so guy in the line, the guys, kind uh, of following up everything. You can see him moving up here. He's just kind of trotting it on. <laughs> Got his guys in front of him, you know? It's good. That's the life. So this decline into the river. Yep. We there on he it. goes. Evan SMA following him around. Starting to make his push up. Evan's a good guy. If uh, We haven't really talked about him, but he's a new trainee. He might be coming on as staff eventually. Pretty good, pretty good times. We have a couple of the guys in here that are currently trainees. Might be coming on to staff in the future. We've got Server Air 404 in here. We've got Evan SMA in here. I don't think Burns was able to participate tonight, but he's another one of those community team trainees we got coming up. Yeah. Uh, foot, footless Mage asking, how did Squad Up start? That is a long story. 
And we actually have a uh, one-year anniversary podcast that's up here on the Twitch channel and I believe on the YouTube. Yep. I might be wrong about that, but it's up there. And that they go over kind of the history of how it started, who decided whose the idea was. It's Karma Cut's a brainchild, but so many people make it happen. So mm -hmm. a lot of those guys are there. You get to see their faces of some big names. So yeah, yeah. go check out go check that out if you're uh, interested in the history of squad ops. If you're interested in what we are, that's a great video to watch. I mean, I a lot I got to say after yeah, after I, I joined it. After I joined, I sat down and watched it one day and I uh I giggled. It's funny because, you know, I had been a part of the community for a bit before I watched it. So I had gotten to know a lot of the people involved in it. Mm -hmm. And then to see them kind of, you know, in person interacting with each other and goofing around and stuff, it, it pretty much confirmed a lot of the suspicions I have that people here are goofy and fun, you know? <laughs> so let's see. What do we got? Let's give an overview on what's going on because it's been a little quiet since that Lodgy ambush earlier. Let's get a little overview of what's going on. Currently, militia forces... <laughs> have pushed off far to the north. If you look on my map there, you can see all these little red dots. There's a militia. They have pushed off very far to the north. They shoved some guys over the river here. You can see them right below me. A couple more of them now going to be moving across the river. They've got a couple guys over here to the west. Did Dentrick... Oh, Muff Squad calling out the scout car. They see it. Dentrick still has not left Maine with that Lodgy. He's scared still. He is scared. <laughs> he managed to pull away. Oh, it looks like he's starting to move. Maybe he'll get it. Yeah, and Russia forces, Muffs managed to see that scout car where the forces are massed, but the wow. rest of them, the rest of Russia is just scattered. Shots coming in. Uh-oh. They're taking shots. Is, he shooting is that the scout car shooting? Yeah, best pony in BL and... Get down. Taking fine. Muff has his RPG out. Yep. Looks like he's aiming at it. That'd About be a far shot. Off the... That would be impressive, but Muff has done greater things. <laughs> I remember him one-shotting a Humvee and losing his mind with Hyper Evo in close proximity. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can barely see it from here. I'd say that's probably about 150 meters out from Muff. That would be quite the shot. But the scout car is starting to push up. It's going to get train. eyes. It looks like it's going to be the, the forward scout. It sees them up there. It knows it's there. It's got some really good mm -hmm. zoom, this scout car does. It's looking at where Hesmix is, and the muff bandit here is still on the tree. I'll hit him as soon as he crosses. He's got his oh. RPG out. You know he's waiting for it to cross that bridge. Dentric, you're going straight to Maine. It's Looks like he's going to get it as soon as it crosses, or if it tries two. to cross, he's going to open up on it. He doesn't want to do it until it tries to cross. He doesn't want to scare it off. I guarantee you they probably have another lat waiting somewhere around here. Yeah, don't he, doesn't each of the Russia's squads get a, uh, two lats, or is that only one? Uh, No, You've they only get one. You're right, assets. you're right. So they might not. Only one? They might not. So it'll be all up to all up to Muff to take two good shots because that BRDM is is not a stable vehicle. It's good at scouting, no, good at shooting, but it's <laughs> I know from experience it's kind of a tin can. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, it's one of those things like you can do really well in it, but every once in a while you're just driving somewhere and suddenly two rockets hit you and it's like, well, that was a good vehicle while it lasted, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. People treat it like heavy armor. Oh, it must have saw somebody up on that hill. Started taking shots. No casualties? No casualties. It's just trying to shoot. Oh, one casualty. It got somebody. Oh. Not sure who that was. That just attests to the freaking crazy optics that these vehicles get. A lot of zoom capability. Oh, Dentrick managing to get that Lodgy all the way across the bridge. He made it. Wow. He made it. I mean, it it's not like, like there was a lot of opposition, back. but he made That's it. That's true. He I'm braved him,
BRDM. Yeah, it looks like that Muff Muff Bandit and that BRDM just in a standoff. Neither of them moving, neither of them giving up. I can't get off any other rock, movement. No, it looks like that squad is still on the rocks across from the Muff Bandits. Oh, here on the north, we've got a lot of infantry moving. Yep. I'm hearing the rocket already taking some yeah, shots. Yeah, they shot. Too. They did. They took a couple pot shots with that rocket already. Yeah, we've got a full. We've got more than a squad up here. What is that? One, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got like a squad and a half up on the north here, pushing through this large, thick forest, keeping to the very far north. Rocket already just landing short of its shots over here. You can see these shots coming in. Oh, that one hits close. Nearly takes out somebody here. Who is that? S. Klein. Nearly um, took him out. Did it? Didn't do any damage to him. No. The rocket already, you really just have to hit. It's a great terror tool, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, yeah, if you don't know, the uh, the rocket already, pretty much, it does uh, does about as much damage as a frag grenade. <laughs> Some more rocket shots coming in, hitting around people, but Muff Bandit and his crew pulling out of this location. They are going to concede the North Bridge. Yep, you can see them adjusting up and down. Somebody's calling the angles for them. Oh, a shot very, very nearly hits LaRue. It does hit him. He's bleeding. That is Jack Reynolds, one of the squad leads, I believe, isn't he? No, he's not. He is a squad lead. This guy needs a medical MTLB passenger driving up here. It's trying to get in position, but that rocket already was doing good work. It looks like they're either out of ammo or they're giving up on it for now progress of this northern crew they are they are about directly north of uh of larue's squad here that northern bridge holding squad they are just north of them yeah it looks like the mtlb moved up crusty the sailor and net flame in it moved up dropped off a squad and tried to reinforce that position the mtlb taking shots at the scout car scout car getting hit mtlb putting in some good shots on it it might be hitting just low. The scout car backing off. You see that scout car over there? Looks like it's backing off. The MTLB. Oh, the scout car the MTLB beats gets the hit. MTLB. Oh, no. Oh. That shouldn't happen any day. That doesn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, even, no. even LaRue saying the MTLB is down and he can't. He doesn't know how. I wonder Man. if it took. I wonder if it took a hit before the, the BDRM engaged it I that shouldn't know. happen unless i don't know maybe he got the jump we'll give him the benefit of the doubt but that's crazy we got blasted up and then here. here comes the wolf pack three techies spg two discotechies coming in they know that they got that mtlb so there's no reason not to move in that's the yep. biggest threat to these technicals some shots coming in actually on the north side is this larue squad up here yes it is Putting Looks in like some far got... shots. Yeah, this is something we didn't get to see last round. It went away really quick. It's this SPG techie. wonder if they're going to... I mean, what do they have to use it against now, huh? <laughs> they just took down that MTLB. It can be really good at taking down fortifications. Yeah, use it to knock down some sandbags and Heskos. You can see Ooh, some mortars. coming in. Mortars hitting the freaking scout car. Oh, oh. no. Blocked him from hitting the heading across that bridge, and he is on fire right now. Oh, smoking lightly. He, no, is he gonna pop? No, he should be okay. No. Yeah, he's got a technical right up his butt, pushing him along. <laughs> yep, that BRDM not as fast as these quick zippy technicals. That's what causes traffic jams, folks. <laughs> Today we're going to learn about traffic waves, ladies and gentlemen. BRDM shooting at 
that infantry up there on the hill. Ooh, one of the vehicles, one of the techies takes one down. Uh, LaRue, they took down squad leader LaRue. Oh no, unfortunate for him. And his squad is in full retreat now. Yes, they are. They are running away. Alright, so you can see these technicals pushing up. They're starting to take contact. They return fire. Taking contact from the south and the west. Putting shots back in. There's that SPG technical. It's starting to maneuver back. Disca technical taking some other shots way south. Oh man. Well, a lot of shots coming in. Fire. Who's on man. that? That has Let's to be a, an emplaced HMG. Oh yeah. Who is on that one? Uh, truth realm. Oh no, I lied. That's wrong angle. We've got Fobbit Vector Scope. Vector Scope is on that with Merrick sighting him in. Oh, we're hearing some mortars coming in now. They land a little short, but that was a ranging shot. We'll see what happens. So both of the commands this time deciding to use the mortars that were not used in the operation earlier today. Interesting choices. That means they have some confidence in their logistics. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, did Dentrick, is Dentrick still on the run? He is not know, running yeah. anymore, so they have to be really conservative with that ammo. Yep. So the militia forces have now pushed around. They're far on the north. And they're starting to maneuver west. Scout car took some hits, but it's doing okay now. It's pulling away. It does look like Militia lost somebody. Yeah, Militia lost somebody here on the road. A good shot from that HMG. Unfortunate yeah. for him. Vector scope managing to take that long shot. Good job for him. He's a newer guy, too. I haven't seen yep. him around much, so. There's nothing else I can reach it. Yep, yep. Yeah, we'll give half credit to Merrick for sighting him in. He's just <laughs> telling him every bit, every bit, up a little bit, left a little bit. Oh, oh a shot God. comes in from server air. That takes down a vehicle. Oh, it's dead, motherfucker! Kills Gellin and somebody else. Scout car down. That was yeah, the scout, scout car. car. <laughs> oh, that was Muff. Yeah, that was Muff. That was the scout car. He just took that thing oh, right out. Bad. Took down two. They have hard. taken it out. That was yeah, Muff Bandit and server air working way, together. Or no, Muff Bandit was the one who shot him. Good job to him, you know? Those mortars earlier softened it up, allowed Muff to take that shot out. So, indirect fire already paying dividends for Russia. Good stuff. The best part is they don't even know where we're at. Muff here just says, best part about this is they don't even know where we're at. <laughs> Good work to him. Oh man, Muff. Going wide so go good. Far. Love it. Muff and Server are chilling together with these rocks. Now, the rest of the militia forces are pushing around far, far north. So you see Fulcrum here and Jax, Thurman Merman, some of the other guys maneuvering around here far, far north. It's crispy. He is on your screen right now, maneuvering over there. This is the entirety of the militia force up here, isn't it? It is. They have not. I mean, well, it's not the entirety, entirety. It looks like we have a couple people. Evan SMA, Fafinator. About a fire team is across the river heading. I think they're in the S bends of the river right now. Oh, yeah. You huh. kind of see them traveling down here. I'm not sure where they're planning to go. Uh, we don't have comms on them, what they're here for, but. Team Got to assume somebody has a plan for we them. Defending the north we don't really, we don't really go with the uh, lone wolfing thing in, in our op. We like, we like right. to keep everybody together and, and try and try and direct people. Yeah, we actually have a rule. You know, if you are the last person alive in your squad or your group, you must make an attempt to relink up with the rest of the team. So. Yeah, and that, that rule happen. is what makes me think these guys are, are on their okay, way yeah. to do yeah, something. They want me to pull back they're out go. there for some reason. I'm doing yeah, like, yeah, we'll see what they're up to so. down there. 
I'll be like right behind all of them. It's so amusing that they don't know the count of the enemy force, but they know they got shot at from just south. So the Muff Bandit and Server Error are managing to keep them on the north flank and just have them continue around rather than push into them. You know, they could easily take them out, but they're they're just not. They're like, nope, nope we're going to go somewhere else. We'll see what happens. Mm hmm. Shadow you know, I am, here. I am oh, noticing something here way out to the west. You right seeing what I'm right seeing on that technical? Uh oh. You got a V bid? <laughs> I think we got a V bid. I got to maneuver out here and find this thing. So, if you guys don't know yep. what a V bid is, that stands for V B I E D, vehicle bound. I believe it's bound, right? Yeah, vehicle bound IED. Yeah. Vehicle bound improvised explosive device. What you do, the general strategy with this when you do this, you put the IED on top of a technical, like this one is here. Uh huh. And here once we go. the IED is on top of it, you, uh, oh yeah, you can see it. Oh, vehicle yep, it's born right there on the nose. improvised explosive device. There it is, yep. So they got it, and they're going to drive that thing in as quick as that they as quick as they can basically and they will have a scout off somewhere else and he will know to blow that thing up once it hits something so that's what they're gonna try to do it's completely legal they're totally allowed to do it they have decided maybe the rocket techie is out of ammo either way but they that's have decided something. that that thing yeah that thing is now <laughs> it is more now fodder. useful <laughs> it's more useful <laughs> as explosive explosive fodder <laughs> Hammered Hebrew oh. on the north side of the storage site here. Kind of a, a northern scouting element, it looks like, in the gaming Brennan up here, too. Looks like they're... They are a force pushed out... I think they pushed out after they found out where the contact was, so they're up here yeah. just waiting for contact to circle around. Could be wrong about that. Oh, you know what? Contact. I just realized who, who that V-bid uh, is. It's yep. Silas. It's the creator <laughs> of the op. Check it out if you can. He's out there trying to, I'm pushing. trying to have some crazy moments. You remember Sightless from last round, kind of a, a oh, chuckle house in the basement, bad, one of the last <laughs> guys alive. Uh, here again, strapping an IED to a vehicle. Love it. So what do you got down there, Google? Oh, we got server and Muff Bandit about to push across an open field. Just really quickly, oh, no. no big deal. Just wide open field. We're gonna, this guy are gonna push north <laughs> oh, good. Don't worry about it. Keeping a lot of good spacing, so it won't get taken Man. by one grenade. You know, I'm noticing that the Russians have a lot of like scouts spread out. They've got mm -hmm. a bunch of guys in the storage or the shipping yard. You know, like three or four of them just spread out there. They've got a couple guys to the north. They got a couple guys to the southwest. You, know, you can see a couple of them here in the shipping yard. And uh, it seems like they're just doing a lot of scouting elements, you know? Mm hmm. That's, uh, it seems like X bit. I've played with him a bit. He's, he's really a big fan of the information game. He gets you know, a lot of scouts out. He was one of my squad leads earlier. <laughs> and that was pretty much the entirety of his purpose. His his group went out seems and like just it. gave us information like the for the entirety of the round, letting us know where movements were, where troops were. And I gotta tell you, we'd right, had a I great defense because of it. To our so, southeast. Smart guy. They are in commanding India here five, tonight. Seven. Expert seeing someone on the south to his peninsula. It's Evan SMA, it looks like might be. They're crossing the river right now. Is it They're crossing the river group? now. Is that yeah, that group yes, in is. the S-Bend? Yeah, but is. I'm heading over to follow them. All right, I'm going to stay up here on this northern engagement. It looks like we're about yeah. to take contact soon. I'll get down there and follow these guys. You keep it up there. Gonna get to the edge of this and still, Sightless with his V-Bed. Uh, would you like to hold up here? Do you guys get closer? Or are we <laughs> oh, hammered Hebrew. Hammered Hebrews within 50 meters of an entire squad. It's crispy red stripe truck. Hammered Hebrew. He has no cover. He is in a bush. He is purely concealment. Oh, man. Guys at the storage happens. site taking shots. Oh, they see him. Oh, Hammered Hebrew is down. It's Crispy manages to take him down.
So you're never going to believe what I'm seeing here. This is Evan What's SMA that? and his crew. What? And there is, so there's four of them there. It's a fire team. And there is one lonely Russian over here following them around. You know who that one lonely Russian is? Ventric. <laughs> oh, he gets to be the ambusher. Yeah. After being ambushed. We'll see what oh, happens. Man. We'll see what happens there, but oh uh -huh. man, that's funny. I lost visual on the you know, just following them around, waiting for the right moment, though, can just make a big impact. Okay, I want you to put one round on. Yeah, we will see what happens. Who is that brave soul that's scouting for us? Oh, yep, they're pushing the entire. Oh, they're pushing the entire squad into storage here. There's really only a couple of guys, but they can't know that, so they're slowly clearing and pushing. Got to clear them buildings, man. Got to clear them all. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta clear them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing mortars coming out. Where are those going? I wonder if they're going to land on storage. Yeah, they're probably sitting no. on the reverse slope. Looks like they're Maybe aiming not. south. They might be on Evan's squad. Expert having mm. Dentric move to the west and get eyes on that squad. Oh, those mortars were nearly right on top of Evan. What the f that was so close. They're pushing back now. Dentric might get shots on him. One Russian versus four militia. One man with a rifle no, and a we dream. We're, we're not dead yet. <laughs> Remember guys, facing. He oh, Rose Dragon goes down up in the storage site. Oh, unfortunate. Uh huh. We have left just John Dolly. That is. Why would you keep a close spot? Oh, Evan, so close. Dentric just to his north here. Dentric doesn't see him. He pu he's pushing up on their old location. He doesn't see him. Yeah. They don't see each other. Two ships in the night. They are passing right by each other. Dentric maneuvering a little south. Oh, John Dolly taking a couple of shots, killing one and wounding another. Little does he know, Agalok is coming out the door for him. Oh, Nuke Dukem manages to take him down through the window. That leaves Brennan. The gaming Brennan's the only one really left up here. And, oh. And Mighty is his squad name. Squad Mortar's squad landing on the old position. Dentric saw them to the south. He did manage to get eyes on them. They are pushing out away now. Just heard Mighty saying over command comms. More or less, they've got shipping, so... Looks like they have managed to take that area. Sightless is driving his V bed around. Wonder Cross if he's trying to asking, use that soon. He might. Crosstrain asking how many people are watching this. Well, funny answer. <laughs> We're going to have a hard time getting that number for you uh, because there's a couple on the YouTube, but then uh, we are also streaming to Karma Cuts YouTube. Uh, looks like, oh, we've got 130. Just got word from my man behind the camera, Pen. 130 people watching the stream total right now, so good stuff. That's across all of our platforms. We stream to two different YouTubes, two different Twitches, and also on Mixer. So you can find us in all those very, various locations. Dentric pushing off here. Still just chasing around this squad of Evan SMA. Oh, they're... Gaming Brennan is... Oh, is he going to take a hit? He went down. So the last of this storage squad is down. They've got three techies up here on the north end of storage and two, at least two full squads, it looks like, mm -hmm. in in storage. Erisbeth saying, love watching our videos. Well, we love that you watch them. <laughs> Expert just saying, we'll make them pay for apartments. They might have gotten shipping, but we'll make them pay for apartments. 
Meaning yep. there are some apartments to the southwest of shipping. Hey, yard. we can open fire on them. It looks like he's you wanting to bunker? make sure that they have to we can. Yeah. Uh, spill some blood to get in there. Doesn't do it. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, it looks like Mighty and what's left of of his squad are here in the apartments. Got a couple of different buildings with one person each. Oh, and they're taking shots from Sightless's little little trio up here. Sightless, Gooby, and Keevan. I'm just still laughing so hard on this southeast corner. Like, it's just like this this stalker Dentric. You know, he's like he reminds me of like Jason, just slowly walking behind, but always catching up somehow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> that direction. Oh, we hear shots going out from Evans' crew. Dentric sees them now. Pedro asking, "How can you join the events? Check us out." www.squadops.gg squadops.gg head there you can yeah, find all the information how to join the events you take a shot yeah jesus jesus take a shot oh he just got gl evan has no clue evan has no clue that there's contact right here but he's about to run right by dentric it's just one guy but we can see what happens dentric rifle in a dream see what he does Oh, here he comes. This is Evan pushing up right by him. Let's see. He pushes the shot. He kills Evan. Oh, wait, no, that was Poke Smot. That was Poke Smot. I'm sorry. He killed Poke Smot. So he just took down one. They hear shots. That, that militia force is running away. The rest of the guys running away. Not knowing where those shots came from. Dentric now maneuvering away himself. Managed to take down one and slip away. Ooh, they just they realized that Pokesmot went down. It oh, took them that long. They heard the shots and they just realized. We're going to listen into their conversation. <laughs> yeah, I just heard take, it out, take it out of here. Run, run, run. Yeah, they're GLing us so hard. Get, run with, the, uh, with what? Get the fuck out of here now. They're right on top of me. Yep. There's some on the rock face around me, but most so of them are in the So this uh, fire down. team like is actually part face, of uh, Squad 4, four which is Sightless. Um, People north east. He is telling them to just book it, just get out of there. More mortars coming in. Not really landing right close, but he is just telling them, Wait, book it, get like it out of there. So yeah. <laughs> Dentric, one man with a rifle, has managed to kill one and uh, stave off a fire team of militia by himself. Man. <laughs> it looks like up there on the north they've started to trickle out of storage site they've got a couple guys up on those silos um overwatch there and oh we've got one in the building with mighty who is this oh he gets mighty it's crispy takes down the squad leader mighty in one of the apartments yeah they're pushing on the apartments through that gas station there Shots coming in on Dentric. He's running away. They they saw him. They finally saw him, and they're starting to put shots in, but they don't know how big the force is, so they're all running away from each other. <laughs> Dentric That's what I love back about north. this game. Yep. Like, just squad in general. There's no, there's no uh, map with enemies or radar or anything like that. You can't even tell if you kill an enemy, honestly, and it's it's great. I just love that. You just can't know. Right. Makes for some tense situations. A lot of tense situations. And amusing ones like that. Yeah, you know, you get uh, you get two guys, or, well, you get one guy engaging three, and they both are like, uh, um, you know, my life is worth more. <laughs> it's these one-life operations, too, that do it. You know? Mm -hmm. um, because when you have only one life to live, you tend to be a little more careful with it. So, if you guys don't know, Squad Ops, we run one life operations. Everybody in here has agreed that after they die, they will go ahead and respawn somewhere and switch into admin cam. They do not get to come back into the fight. After they die, they are dead. Oh! 
that rocket killing Kennet. Wow, that was a great rock. He put a rocket right up in the middle there. Who was that? That was Rate. I believe that was Rate. Yep. Getting shot at by these guys in the building. Decides, nope, I'm going to shove a rocket down your throat. Shoves it right <laughs> into that window. Kills him instantly. Beautiful. Good work for it him. It was. Leaving SM Pure Paradise, a lone man in that building. Now we've got Hesmix on the outside of the building. All sorts of enemy contact near him. To me? Yeah. Expert wanted them to pay for these apartments. So far, he's the only one paying, though. This, uh, this link to the south entire south fire south team south is south about south gone. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Uh, Though these apartments, I mean, they're still holding them. Yeah, they're still holding them. There's a, a couple yeah, guys in there. They, they got guys, some guys yeah, up north, too. Be able to fucking get eyes on these uh, HMGs. One of them's in the bunker, the other one's just a standard HMG mount. Trying to find Muff. There he is. Oh, man. Uh, technical rolls right by him as he's laying here. Disco technical off to his east. Just hide, just hide, just hide. Shots come in on the disco technical from the north. Oh, they shoot the gunner out of the Dishka Technical, but the Dishka Technical managed to take down one as well. Thurman Merman is a gunner there. He is backing up. Now the driver is backing up. He has no oh, gunner. They got now here comes some shots on it. Go ahead. Sorry, they got Hester. No, you're good. Here. You're good. <laughs> oh, man. The, the Dishka Technical is running now. It's right to Muff's north. Does he get his rocket out? He does. He hits it. He knocked the driver out, didn't he? He did! He knocked the driver out! Muff it, Bandit with a, a hell of a shot on that Dishka Technical, knocking the driver out of it with that rocket. Muff or, Bandit doing work. Oh no, shots coming in on Muff now. They have a lot of bullets left, though. They're shooting at me. See what happens here. Another disc of technical to his west. I think he's used up all his rockets, though. Oh, Game Boy Roy <laughs> taking down. Uh, it's Crispy. Manages oh, to no. get him. Or, oh, maybe that was the gaming Brennan. Shot him in the back. Yep. S SM Pure Paradise got him in the back as he ran up on it. Oh, is he going to get another one? He is. Oh, he got another one. SM Pure Paradise getting <laughs> Agalock oh, as well. Game Boy Roy, oh, they are paying in blood now. Game Boy Roy and SM Pure Paradise managing to pinch a few guys in between these buildings. Paradise taking a hit, bandaging. He might have a couple guys push into his building. Oh, Game Boy Roy taking down Jax. Oh, and Game Boy Roy, amazing grenade. It's hard to throw a grenade into those windows, and somebody got one. That is always difficult. I always end up bouncing a bad nade back. Yeah, I see that all the time. They bounce off the windows of the wall and just come back in your face. To the windows. To the wall. Sorry, I had to. I see him down here. I see him down here. You and your references. <laughs> it's all I've got. I have no other humor. Spot. Fuck, can we get back? Let's get back. Pure Paradise saying he's got to get moving. Get Don't know where he's going to move to. He's got enemies all around him. Well, this will make Xbit happy. They did pay for it. Four li five lives for, for a couple of guys here in the buildings. Oh man, Muff taking shots from the north. Yep, Xbit calling a consolidation wants everybody back to the FOB as best they can. Yeah, well, that's going to be difficult for them to do. They've got a lot of elements around them. Yeah. How is Militia oh doing for people? It looks like they've got a fair force in the north. Yeah. We've got about oh, no. four guys oh, left down here in apartments. Shit. Muff is pinned down right now. They Him and so Immune fun. Style are stuck are in a ditch. Smoking and there are shots Smoking coming in it. all around <laughs> them. They've got a Dishka Technical to their south. They've got shots coming in from the north. Oh! They managed to take out the gunner though. Cloud tier 10 goes down. Silas, the lone guy now, just driving around. He runs over both of them. That's horseshit. That's fucking that horseshit. And manages to kill him. Silas taking down Muff Bandit and Immune Style. 
as in pure paradise, the trigger trigger shy on moving here. He keeps saying, I'm going to move. And backs off, says, nah, nah, I'm going to stay. <laughs> He's just waiting in this building. Oh, no. Silas taking down Muff. That's so sad. Anyway, back to the action down there. It's a lot of sneaking. This this op is definitely good for a lot of engagements. It gives the, you the entire map to really play, to play on, and and it just you never know where you're going to engage. All four rounds this game have just been really different. Yeah, That's what I like time. about it. It provides a lot of open options. You know, there's mm-hmm. the couple of different fob locations. There's whether you want to defend the bridges or if you kind of just want to concede them. You know, it's pretty interesting stuff. I'm liking it a lot. I'm really enjoying Bleeding Shield. Sightless did a good job for this. By the way, guys, stick around. Uh, after the this round is over, we are not quite done. After this round is over, we are going to pull in Sightless, the guy who designed this op, and we're going to talk to him about how he designed it, kind of the process of it, what he was thinking about, what his thought process was, and we'll kind of pick his brain on what he Correction, thinks Jill- about the yeah, operation. Yeah, 5-4-1, so put one round out. Stick around for that just after we finish up this round. But we still got a lot of squad ops action to go. New target. India 5-3-5. All right. We're going to maneuver back down here to the southeast. See what's going on down here. One round. It's about 9 versus 10. I just went around and counted them. We got about 9 versus 10 in favor of Russia. All right. That's a rough estimate based on what I can see. Of course. Copy. Got something going on around this peninsula. You know, I think they did eventually get Dentrick down or he fell back because I don't see him over here anymore. Mm-hmm. India 5? No, he's alive. He's back at the base. He made it back. <laughs> what a trooper running all the way up and all the way back. This is not a small map. That is quite the run. You know, Muff saying right now, you got surrounded, ran out of places to run. Yeah, you had that Disca technical to your south. You had the uh, whole force up there to the northeast. Not much to be done about it, sadly. Good work, though, man. We saw you take out some of the... Uh, we saw you take out the scout car. We saw you take out the guy I in the technical. The really good work. <laughs> Now, this small fire team to the southeast, Command, check your west. they're taking some uh, shots right now from across the river. That is Evan SMA, uh, Ferox, and the Fafinator. Contact west. They're taking some shots from what looks like an HMG emplacement up there on that hill. Damn, I got eyes oh, it's just an AR, AR actually. Just part. a guy laying West's down with the AR. Oh, never mind. No. It's like, it's like Shadow Ritual has a fire team following him. Uh, going to the south side of this. What is this? The south side of their uh, in their base location, their fob location. Yeah, it looks like that. Interesting that they're having that yeah. go that way. SM Pure Paradise finally getting the reprieve he needs to get out of there. <laughs> Whoa! They just used what that V-bit, that? I think. Did it do anything? Did they, no. did they get anything? No, <laughs> it did nothing. That was the V bit. Uh, it did nothing. The V bit. It does nothing. Oh uh, well, they <laughs> breached that V that that barn there, hoping to hoping to get a couple of kills. Team check south. You have full fire team heading towards you. So there's oh. shots coming in. Your paradise just called south. Fire team, so they're south. Uh, fault on the fob team. So Sightless pushed in with that V-Bid, and now he's just holding this building. He's currently the closest one to the location. There's that fire team off to the southeast on the other peninsula, and there is a couple guys up north putting in shots. X-Bit there with them as well. X-Bit looking towards that house. He doesn't know he's there, but Sightless has a guy here just to his southeast. Sight or expert just called it. They're at the barn. He knows that Sightless is there. If you want it, you can put a call sign. Is it the white barn? Yeah, yep. he's putting yep. some shots in. We'll see what happens here. 
Yeah, when they fix that techie cab being uh, protected from fire, that might make those engagements that Muff Bandit got into uh, equal out a little bit. He's saying on the chat there, they, yep. they were protected from his fire. He might have actually got them if they could have been killed from it. I would definitely think so. <laughs> Have they just ran him over and shot him? Oh, here comes some shots coming in. Is that the Dishka Technical from the north? I believe so. Yep, Dishka Technical from the north putting in some shots. Now it's pulling back. Is that a squad lead up there? Oh, they blew up the Dishka Techie! I don't know who that There's was, but one. they just... They're shooting at the other one, too. Oh, no. Who's up there? Yeah, it's up here on the Ram, hill. Ram, that's Ram. Oh, they're hitting it. Yes, they are. Shots coming in on this Dishka Technical. It's going to have a hard time pulling out of there, I think. They're hitting it. More shots coming in. They're definitely hitting it. It might be time to bail out of this thing soon. Oh, they shoot him off the back? Did they? No, never mind. I thought for a second it looked like they shot him off the back. It was like a little weird glitch where it looked like they shot him off the back and then he popped back up in fine place. I was like, oh, okay, I guess. Panoscope yeah, like, right in line with, with Shadowed Ritual. Shadowed Ritual and Red Stripe. Crawling through these low bushes. Dishkateki pushing in from the northeast. It's running right up. Pandascope has no idea how close he is to to command. They shot Ram off the back and then blew up the techie. That was an awesome shot. <laughs> oh man. They shot him off the back and oh, then blew him. Pure Paradise going to walk up right on this guy. Oh. Who is it? He did. He already killed him. That's some pure paradise taking one down and sneaking up on Nuke Dukem. Man. There can't be a lot of militia left, right? There's that. No. There's, there's that the three guys, guys coming up from the peninsula. And then there's like four four guys here. Oh, and there's a bunch. There, there's a couple guys off to the southwest yeah. far. Yeah. Are those the peninsula guys? Those yeah, are the peninsula cool. guys. They're coming. SM Pure Paradise takes out two of that flanking squad, leaving squad lead, or uh, command, rather, Shadow Ritual, and Piddle and Red Stripe left. Keevan pushing up here on the south side. Looks like he's going to come up on this little position that they have here on the mountain. See what Take happens there. Last. More shots going out north. Looks like Red Stripe's went taking down. down. Wow, that was a long overshot. Yeah, that uh... looks like maybe oh, somebody Keevan. needs a uh, Shadow Ritual. Was that Shadow Ritual? Red Stripe takes down that guy inside. Can't see the name of the guy inside. <laughs> oh, Keevan that... takes a shot up there. Yep, he's got that M4 taking pot shots. He's in the rocks. Squad he's a scout. He's a scout. It's the SKS, yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, we might be in different engagements here. Yes, we are. We are. We are. Sorry, sorry. Gotcha. I was looking at Keevan pushing up on the southeast mm -hmm. side real close. Oh, somebody just got dropped into oh. the side. Yep. That's Red that Stripe again Come with in. that M4. X Red Stripe just got takes dropped. down X-Bit. Good job, Red Stripe. There's only one guy on the actual fob proper now, right? Yeah. Yep, they're all, the rest of them are out on that hill. To get out? Oh, but I think Red Stripe just... No, Piddle got yeah, down up. there to the uh, west. Oh, yeah. Some, Leaving Red Pandasco. Stripe with Shadowed. SM Pure pushing off a little bit to the west. He's got a guy close to him. Yeah, he's going to run SMA, The Peninsula Squad. Peninsula. Peninsula Squad, Evan SMA pushing up. See what he's able to do. He might see SM Pure here. Yeah, he does. He sees him. Oh, he got him. and he got him. That headshot. Great shot. Really good shot. And these last two guys here, Fafinator and Ferox, trying to catch up. 
Evan SMA, like, you know, I'll just push up here and kill him. Who knows? You know, Militia, <laughs> with, at this point, Militia has a chance to actually finish this off. Yeah, they have that Evan SMA. They have the other two guys pushing up here. Pretty close. Like they've got Red Stripe over there. Uh, and and they've, Yeah, they've got Shadowed. They've also got Keevan on the got south, got so they can do this. No. There's only one guy on the FOB proper. And the guy on the FOB proper, Dentric, is pushing out. Dentric's still alive. <laughs> Our Lodgy guy from earlier puts in a grenade. Doesn't kill anybody. Shots going in Ask on Dentric. He's taking shots. Shadow, where the hell they are? Put some fire back in. And a grenade? Yeah, it looks like it. What? Hmm. We'll see here. Oh, they definitely have shots on them. Nope, Dentric manages to get around the corner. The shots from Red oh, Stripe no. go a little wide. I thought he was going to put himself in sight. Oh, he's hurt. Dentric is hurt. He's bleeding. He's pulling back going, now. Going to find a medic. All right. So, looks like Pandascope XL is the only guy for Russia alive in this fob proper area merrick scooting down to these rocks just uh just south of his position here now dentric coming back it looks like yeah he is keevan taking shots didn't get hit but they're shooting at him oh and somebody tagged him and got him keevan is down Dentric right here, very close on the other side of the wall from Shadowed Ritual. Shadow Red. pierces the wall and kills him. He pierced nice. the wall and killed him. That leaves Truth Realm and and Merrick, the only ones left here. Wait, wow. no, we've got SMP Pandascope. outside. Pandascope. No, outside. Pandascope. Pandascope XL, yep. still alive. But but they have the fob right here. This is the objective. They're putting in shots on Pandascope. They see him. He's crawling through the bushes away. They well, don't know that there's nobody in there. Yeah, Evan just killed himself. Oh my, bad Evan nade, just threw nade. a bad grenade. Uh... Bad grenade. Shadowed Ritual gets taken down by Pandascope XL. Things are falling apart. They had this in the bag. Oh no. Oh, putting a rocket in the fob room in case they were digging. Ow. Yeah, I got a bandage. Oh, Merrick got backblasted by truth. That cut. That's why you call your backblast, folks. That's why you clear your backblast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pandascope XL is still alive out there. They're putting in shots now on those southern rocks. And they're starting to maneuver somebody in there. Who is that? Oh, that's Red Stripe still, Red the guy Stripe. who took down command. He's all alone here. There's two guys off to his west. Is he gonna decide to go ahead and dig that? I don't know. That would be that would be cool. And you know, up here on the hill, they'd know that happened because this mach this machine ooh this machine gun bunker would uh would go away. Yep. He is. He's got a shovel out. He's deciding. He's like looking at it, looking at the he's looking at the hill. He's looking at the fob, looking at the hill, looking at the fob. He's like, I don't... He puts some other shots out. Oh, he gets hit. Pandasco? No, no I'm talking okay. about in here, Red Stripe. He, I thought he got shot. He did not. He hit the wall. Gotcha. Him, though. Truth Realm about to be in line. Oh, Truth Realm is going to take a hit. Truth Realm is down. Got taken oh, he's by got a shovel. Peninsula Squad. Pandascope pushing in onto Red Stripe. Pandascope is real close. He hears the footsteps. Red Stripe stops. Red Stripe stops digging. Did it work? Did Pandascope decide not to go in? Yep, Pandascope got him through the window. Pandascope oh. got him through the window. That leaves it 2v2. It's going to come down to the wire. Merrick and Pandascope versus uh, Peninsula Squad, Fafinator and Ferox. So you can see here, we've got Pandascope in the field here. We've got Merrick over there. 
And down to the south, that's Ferox and Fafinator, the last two militia. We've got two militia and two Russia left. Pan if they're just down here circling low on this on this hill heading toward that emplacement. This is such a good round, I gotta say. It is a game of inches right here. I mean, I was blessed, and there wasn't many people. This is the part where you wish you could hear both comms. I bet the <laughs> local comms on these guys is, is gold. Shut it always is when we get down to the last. <laughs> Merrick just said, I'm shot to hell and I'm all out of bandages. <laughs> Pandascope tagged it. as well. So, and Fero or oh. Fafinator is hurt as well. So, Ferox is the only one full health in this group that's left. <laughs> Are they going to use this emplacement? They could they use this could. emplacement. Uh, can they turn it around? Oh, no, it is facing There's the right a direction. Yep. They get in oh, it. My. He's in it. Oh, please. He's in it. You can see him up there mounted up. Shots come oh, out. He got they him. He got him. He got Fafinator. So it's just Ferox on that MG versus mm -hmm. Merrick and Pandascope. He decides, nope, not going to play that game. <laughs> well, he has to know where that fob is. Merrick yes. just kind of checking the buildings, making sure that, you know, there's nobody around still. Did you get him? Ferox looking in on Pandascope XL. We are down to the wire. There are two Russians left, Merrick and Pandascope XL, and one militia up there. Keep in mind, Russia is blue, Militia is red. He's getting back he's, on the MG. Yep, he's going to go ahead and take shots. Uh, well, I hope he does. Not yet. He's just looking. He's if trying he just to penned that button. red building right there, he could, he could get a kill. Yeah, he might not he, know. Oh. Does he see him out there to the left? He sees him. Oh. He can't track that far, probably. Nope, he can't turn that far left. He's got to make a move here. <laughs> yeah, it looks happens. like he's trying. Yeah, he's trying for sure. He just needs Ferox to... is one of our newer guys. I bet this has got he's his scared. heart pounding. <laughs> I remember the first time I was last in the game. I was, I was not happy. It was tense. It was fun, but it was oh, tense. Oh man, I have never been last alive. I've been one of the last five, but that's the most I've been. So. I can imagine this. I mean, it was tense down to the last five, you know? Oh, yeah. Merrick oh. sees him. Pandas go put shots in. He lays shots back in at Panda. He's starting to pull out now. Oh, no, he gets him. That's it. GG. And that is it. Man, Dude, awesome what an job. amazing round. I cannot believe that. Oh, man. GG. That was awesome. Great job to everybody. Wow. Uh -huh. But don't leave just yet. We are going to have an interview with Sightless, the guy who designed this op. Let's see if we can get him in here. All right. Let's get him in here. See if we can talk to him. Yeah. All four games today, session one and session two, just had great endings. Really tense. Came down to the wire every time. All right, we've got him in here. Good oh, no. to see you, Sightless. How, How did that it be? <laughs> so, Sightless, if you guys don't know, this is the guy who designed the operation that we just ran today. Man, how do you think it all went? How did it feel to play? Um, from first session in the EU, where it was a hell of a lot different because you had two fob locations instead, and it was a little bit more of a long game, slower paced. That was pretty fun, but uh, I'm certainly a fan of the quicker pace that we took for the uh, second op session when it ran. Right, for sure. You know, this one felt like a really kind of slow war of attrition over time, you know, as opposed to some of the uh, the ops that we run otherwise that kind of turn into these really fast engagements. This seemed like there were a lot of small engagements. Is that kind of how you thought about it when you designed it? Uh, 
most part. I, I always figured it'd be like a, a running fight to and from the different bridges back to the HQ fob. So I was kind of hoping for that. And the mobility aspect of it certainly lends itself to that. Because uh, unless you have the clear advantage with number of vehicles, uh, just armaments in general. So I know for you, you're a big fan of militia in general. Did you basically pick them for this because you wanted some kind of operation with a militia in it? Yes, I felt we didn't have enough, and I enjoy militia the most out of all the factions in the game. I, I don't enjoy the uh, the symmetrical warfare between Russia and the U.S. I don't like the U.S. weapons as much as I do like the militia, and I don't like the Russian weapons as much as like the militia. So Very I prefer cool. the asymmetrical factions. It's good stuff, you know, seeing the technicals actually be put to use, you know, the way that you can wolf pack them. That's something that is a little unique to this. And also, just that scout car. Did you decide from the start that you wanted the scout car, or was that yes. kind of a later thought? The BRDM is probably my favorite Russian armored vehicle in existence, so when, when I was put in the game and I realized it was <laughs> on that map, I just had to fucking have one for it. Armor is <laughs> armor's being generous, in my opinion. Stop small arms. <laughs> yeah. More than you can say for a Toyota. <laughs> well, these Toyotas seem to have armored windows right now. Oh, I'm <laughs> There's ballistic glass windows, you know. They, they got that chop shop, you know. So yeah. what was your favorite part of the uh, the op today? Like, what what did you find the most enjoyable, Sightless? Uh, personally, I most enjoyed first round defending that basement. Just the whole compound yes. defense in general. The whole, the whole stream enjoyed that. that <laughs> not even like the last part, but just the whole defense leading up to that was very tense. And I, I just enjoy parts like that where everyone's slowly dropping like flies, but you're holding on. And things come down to the wire. You don't know what they have. They don't know what you got. You gotta follow all the tricks to try and survive. Uh, but for second session, um, Honestly, I had a lot of fun driving that V bid up to the wall. <laughs> that pretty, was pretty uh, cool. To see. I'm surprised I didn't get taken out. Honestly, they almost got me. That was really entertaining to watch. I gotta say, the first round hearing you talk about, you know, <laughs> all the stuff going on in the basement, I was cracking up. You know, you made a really good call at one point for the guy to go ahead and fire uh, in through the smoke, and he ended up killing somebody with that. So yeah. really nice work there. Oh man, this was a fun op. I got to command in it earlier today, and I had a really good time. So thank you, Sightless, for all the the work and perspiration that you put into this. I know it's not easy to develop an operation, and getting it to the stage where it's going live takes a whole lot of work. So thank you very much for doing that for us. No problem. I enjoy people having fun, and that's primarily what I want to see people doing, is having fun in these ops. And I just enjoy the multi-stage ops a lot more than I do just attack and defend. So figuring something different would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, very good stuff. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. We're going to start getting it wrapped up for the night. want to say thank you to all the people that make this possible. All of our squad leads, Shattered Rituals, Satan, Pony, Silas, Sightless, X-Bit. Oh, man, who else do we have? We had a couple of other guys. Merrick362, I believe, was one of them. A couple of other guys. I feel like a failure for not remembering all of them. <laughs> Satan, Sightless, Best Pony, Silas, Mighty, Krusty, Muff, and Merrick, all our squad leads and shattered next bit for commanding very good and then also want to say thank you to all of our cameras the guys who give you the first person perspectives that make this so cool uh that was muff han solo uh, obviously cmyk matter myself google tracks xbit merrick 362 server air 404 xf it's crispy shattered ritual j remick and evan sna all providing their cameras to make these first person in multicam streams really cool I want to say thank you to obviously my buddy here google tracks my co-commentator thanks a ton for being here with me always and, fun uh, also big thank you to the guy behind the camera the one that you didn't see or hear all night but he was doing a ton of work that's pen so big shout out to pen thank you so much for doing that also big thanks to sightless for putting this op together and thanks to you guys for watching it we really appreciate you all coming out being a part of the stream with us we'll be back out here on wednesday i believe we're running fallen tree that's next off we'll be running so check us out wednesday same bat time same bat channel for more squad offs action so thank you all have yourselves a wonderful night say goodbye everyone bye, -bye. Good night. <laughs>